felt like you guys sort of controlled that match for most of it. Is that how you felt? Large, large sections of it, yeah, felt like uh, the boys did a great job. Thought prep well, played well. Deserved the dessert at the end of the day, I thought. Credit to the Brumbies, hung in there. Tenacious, experienced. And, uh, you know, obviously completed at the end. Did you take a lot out of that day? It was a pretty good performance from you guys. Yeah, of course. Um, a lot of positives for uh, a lot of the boys in there. Um, a lot of positives in terms of the, the way the guys are trying to play and, you know, grow, I guess, grow their confidence and being a multifaceted attacking side. And I think, um, you know, on the defensive side of the ball, you know, massive improvements. Um, Jason Gilmore and the, and the boys working in the hub behind the scenes deserve a lot of credit. It's great to see uh, that evolution in terms of our game as well. Well, I actually put it back down to a few penalties that you question how they get into our half. Back-to-back -back sort of penalties from situations where we've got the game not in control so much because we would, you know, we couldn't get out past that six points. But um, yeah, so I mean, it just becomes a bit relentless when you, um, you know, have to turn and chase. Much hand in the pocket? Like by a referee, um, to no, 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 no. I think um, I just think it's such a difficult game to referee, and uh, you know we had a we had a dominant scrum at the start, and then there was periods where we got penalised, and it was like you know because again it's such a difficult part of the game to referee. You know, you talk to the boys in there about some of the breakdown stuff. And it's a it's a it's a massively difficult area. You know, they think they're getting a jackal, not getting rewarded for it when the other team does, and it's it's a shame that the game is um, you know is difficult to make those calls on. But I thought it was a great game. I thought it was you know intense, uh, and uh, yeah, had a lot of theatre with it, which was which was great for the game here. How much did that period just before half time? Yeah. Was yeah, we, we um, probably only have ourselves to blame for that bit, and um, but that those things happen. You're against a good side, you know, a very experienced side, and they they weren't going to lie down. Um, and uh, uh, our boys, you know, could could easily have got lost a bit of or had their dent, uh, confidence dented through that, but came out fighting again and scrapping in the second half. And as you alluded, you know, we sort of play to the right end of the park pretty consistently and um, yeah, we've got some very bitterly disappointed boys in the changing room at the moment. Rob Simmons, how's that? What's it with you? What are you saying after that? I don't know, mate. Um, it's a tough one. You talk about periods all through that game. Period before half time didn't hurt. We knew that was going to... Like, we, you know that's going to happen. It always, like, I don't know how, how often do games end up 90-10. It, it always ends up 50-50. The ref's going to bring it back. So why I don't know why that is. But if you show dominance, why doesn't it keep coming? I, I, I don't know. But I think we just need to find a way. There's there's a lot of pats on the backs for a loss there. It, it annoys me a bit. It's saying we're playing well. So we did a lot of things on, but we lost to the game. We need to find a way to win that. Rob Simmons, uh, you seem to, uh, you and uh, Hanninger seem to have uh, read the uh, Brumbies line out quite well. Is there, was it, uh, did you target them especially or? Nothing, that's been, uh, that's building. That's um, last three games now. I think we've, we've applied a lot of pressure at the defensive line out there. Uh, it's not really spoken about a lot, it's just a team individually doing their roles and, and it's coming off. Did you hear them singing the song in the sheds like they won the comp? Second grade as well, did you hear that at all? I haven't heard that, but 
I'm glad I didn't. Um, I think, like I said before, we just need to find a way. There has to be some resilience there to show up again next week. We've got a game next week. Seven days? Mm, six days. Friday night. Yeah, Friday night. So six days. We need to find a way. It's not going to be easy. We showed, you know, we're, we're a growing team. We're on that trajectory, but we've got to win. Can't, can't just keep saying, oh, that was good. We lost a game. So... Do what you can to find it, but we need to get a win. Uh, discipline, ball handling, I think that was a bit crazy, has it? Like, when you assess that this week, compared to other points? Yeah, I was pretty pleased with the with the ball handling component. I thought we actually played some really good rugby. Um, you know, there's, there's large moments in review that we'll go through and be disappointed with the outcome when we've clearly got opportunity and we didn't take them. Uh, so that, that clinical aspect of our attack still was a big work on for us. Discipline is very frustrating. Um, Simo's alluding to it, you know, you have a really dominant scrum and you get rewarded once and then you don't get rewarded again, really. Um, in fact, you give away a few just unfathomable, uh, you know, how those conclusions are reached. So that's, that's a conversation, obviously, that we need to work through. Um, and then there's, there's clearly some, some ill discipline around guys just not quite getting back on side or rolling away from a defensive breakdown, which has been a bit of a, a theme for us. And we, we did really well last week. We didn't have any of those situations, but this week we had a few um, which were important. Um, it's just awesome that starting to just get their heads up and playing, you know, uh, where the space is, seeking space and positioning themselves to take advantage. Um, it was good. Remy put himself in a good spot. Will did a great bit of play to see it and got the rewards for it, which is awesome. You just got a wee, wee bit of a physio calls it a spooned back, um, which I think means just a bit of a um, bit of a nervy thing going on in in his, the middle zone of his back. So he's young. He's you know he needs to be looked after. We're not pushing him.